Good day to everyone. This is Tuwaga Central 2021 from Ordananta City University in the province of Pangasinan. Our research project entitled Mushroom Cultivation Mobile Controlled Monitoring with Digital Imaging. This project has no similar research in foreign and national literature. This project will also benefit the mushroom farmers because it lessens the time of maintaining the humidity and temperature needed to grow certain type of mushroom. In the case of oyster mushroom, the temperature needed is from 25 to 29 degrees Celsius. Now let's take a look at our miniature greenhouse. Now the Arduino on board will automatically controls the temperature of the mushroom house. If the temperature rises to 29 degrees Celsius and the humidity is below 80%, this exhaust fan and this uh, humidifier will automatically turn on to lower the temperature. And if the temperature becomes, becomes 25 degrees Celsius, the heater will automatically turn on to raise the temperature. The Arduino Uno board also uses ESP8266 Wi-Fi module to connect to the internet to store the real-time data from the sensors to the database or to the back-end to be used by the front-end software. We also have an ESP32 CAM Wi-Fi camera connected to another Arduino Uno board which serves as the digital imaging camera. Now, let's take a look at our software. This software was made on Android Studio 4.1 and this software can run on any Android phone or tablet as long as it has an Android OS version 9 and above. Let's click the mushroom button. Now, there are four buttons. Four buttons water, activity, lag, camera, and reading. Let's try first the water button. If the soil moisture sensor detects that the moisture is low, a notification will be sent to the device. Now, let's simulate it. Let's remove the soil moisture sensor from the straw body. And then, if the notification will appear, now it is time to water the paddy straw. Now let's now let's open the what wa this water button, and then you can remotely turn on and off the water pump water pump anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. Now just click it, and you can remotely turn on and off the water pump anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection until the paddy moisture becomes high. Now, let's simulate. Let's open it. And then, you can also remotely turn it off. Now, for the activity log button, in here, the Arduino on the board automatically saves to the cloud database the sensor readings and the status of the apparatus every 3 minutes. And then by clicking this button, you can recover two months, two months of data anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection, which is very useful tool in cultivating a mushroom. And now let's go to the reading buttons. In here, you can get the real-time readings for, of the sensors, the temperature, humidity, soil moisture, soil moisture, and the status of the apparatus. Again, this can be accessed anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. And lastly, for the camera button. In here, you can put multiple cameras on different location to monitor the area. As long as you know your, the IP address, you can access it. Just type the IP address and then click the add IP address or the open with browser button to access the live feed area of that camera. This feature can only be accessed on the same network. But if you want it to access it outside the network, we recommend to use an IP camera that has a dynamic IP address like coming from noip.com. 
and then click open with browser and then as you can see you can change the video settings in XVGA and then start stream and then here is let's let's hide the toggle button and then here you can see the live feed of the mushroom house that and then that's for the camera button and here this button below is for the names of the researchers thank you this project can be mass produced with the right packaging and with the budget of less than 5,000 pesos, you can buy all the hardware needed to create this device. And the return of investment can be doubled because it can be yielded all year round. Unlike on the old method, it can only be yielded in 6 months. And anyone who has a cultivation space and is unwilling to put up this kind of business can benefit on this device. Because they monitor their greenhouse even if they are in the office or anywhere in the world. So as a computer engineers, why wouldn't we apply this into the industry of agriculture? In that case, we can help our mushroom cultivators to become independent from waiting good seasons of environment or right seasons of cropping. We can help our mushroom cultivators to trust the situation even when they are not in the cultivation area. And that's all from the group Tumagaset Alpha Mordanita City University and I hope you like it.